Hey, welcome back everybody. So I must start off by saying a big shout out and a thank you to Noble Giuseppe for recommending that I watch this very interesting movie. The movie is The Unforgivable. It's a 2021 drama film and it's directed by Nora Fingsheet and written by Peter Craig. I hope I get that correct. I'm sorry if I mess up the names. I really am. It's based on the 2009 British miniseries Unforgiven, written by Sally Wainwright. The film stars Sandra Bullock, Vincent D'Onofrio, John Berthenal, Richard Thomas, Linda Edmond, Rob Morgan, and Viola Davis. Now, Ruth Slater, that's Sandra Bullock, is released from prison after serving a 20-year sentence for murdering a sheriff who came to evict her and her five-year-old sister, Katie, whom Ruth was raising in their childhood home after the death of her father and their mother who died during childbirth. Upon release, she attempts to re-enter society, reconnect with her sister, and must try to put her life back together again in a world that refuses to forgive her past. This was a really good drama, and most importantly, it stuck to its genre and built on it without needing to venture off course to hold audience attention. There are a lot of movies showing male convicts and their struggles to reconnect with society after having been incarcerated. But showing a female convict was a bold move, one that worked out nicely. And Sandra Bullock is fantastic in this role. She really encompasses the very essence of the Ruth Slater character. Sometimes we tend to forget how truly talented and iconic these classic actors and actresses can be. But when they excel in roles like these, we are all strongly reminded of that fact. The makeup they used to show how 20 years in prison had taken its toll on her was both expertly and subtly done. The fact that I almost didn't even recognize her at first. Now, though the story was a little slow at times, it continued to build on itself with fantastic support acting from Vincent D'Onofrio, John Berthenol, um Rob Morgan, and Viola Davis. They were all vital parts of the story that, that this movie was telling, and each of their interactions with the main character, whether positive or negative, shaped the direction that Ruth's life was taking. Now, as the movie progressed, you could tell that there was some secret buried in Ruth and Katie's past about what happened on the day that, 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 that the sheriff was killed, something that Ruth was determined to carry alone, only wanting to keep her sister that she raised and protected like a mother safe. I mean, she spent 20 years in prison, endured constant hardships upon her release, branded as a convict, attacked at her job when they found out that she had about her killing the sheriff, and must confront the fallout from that murder. I mean, she's hurt and damaged, but the decision that she made to protect her sister 20 years ago keeps her strong, even if everyone and everything else turns on her. This movie is a true hidden gem of 2021, possessing an interesting story, great cast, and it makes you want to keep watching to find out if what you believe to be true about this story really is true. It, 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 as I say again, it builds on itself, it works the way it's supposed to, and it makes, you, it makes you interested in seeing how it all plays out. And with a great cast, this movie does well. Final rating, 3.9 out of 5. I highly, highly recommend 
watching this movie. Full disclaimer, though series is rated R. There is some adult language, but overall, it's a good movie. It deserves to be watched, and you should check it out. Well, that's it for me. Until next time, take care, and see you.